Right, uh, I'm doing a modification, so I thought I would just show you uh, what I'm doing and the inside of a burn chamber just because it's pretty interesting. So, standard 2 kilowatt burn chamber. You've got this panel at the back, uh, which is like three r rivets, like uh, peened over to hold this back plate on that helps swirl the air through the burn chamber rather than just going straight in the end. That's your glow plug hole. There's a not a washer but a recess or a, and a hole, a, like a ledge inside. This one's obviously full of uh, waste oil sludge. Right, so on this one I have cut off this part of the tube right down at where the lip is on the inside. So that's it's like it's just basically like a giant washer with a, a hole in the middle of it that creates a gap on the inside around the other end of the burn tube and all the ins bit of crap and sides falling out. So, this is the uh, now filled with crud and is falling out uh, burn chamber end. There's a lot of uh, stuff in there. It is pretty horrendous. It is not pleasant. This is the back end with that disc taken off and you can see the fins where it's your uh, central fugal fan blows through. And obviously it's making a swirl of air so it directs the air through the hole, through the burn chamber so it's making a swirl. If you can see there are slots through various sizes, there's big ones and little ones that go all the way round and there's one slight, well, it's a lot longer than the rest where the glow plug is, you can't see it very well but it's in there, it's not a lot longer but it's a little bit longer than the rest of them. Now, let me pick out some of this crud and let me show you what the inside uh, looks like. I had a nice little picky screwdriver here, there it is. Let me uh, pick this into onto the floor. So this is all the hard, hard. Oh, I mean, it's, it's hard. It's like hard as rocks. Let me pick that out, and knock it onto the floor. I'm going to use the hammering action. Ugh, it's filthy. I'm going to pause and clean this up a little bit better. So, between the glow plug, well not the glow, well the glow plug, where the fuel comes in, after the mesh, inside there, there is another mesh, but it's a mesh, like a wicking mesh that goes all the way around the inside of the burn chamber. I'm going to try and fish it out because I'm fairly certain that it's spot welded into place before the rest, for the the outside of the burn chamber gets welded on because it's not just press fit and it doesn't slide into place I can feel there's a few spots where it's tacked onto the sides but I will destroy this one to show you hopefully I might need a bigger screwdriver to destroy it with okay so this is the wick material it's basically just like a flat wire wool and then another wire mesh on top of it to kind of keep all the wire wool together. But that is obviously to wick the diesel and the vapour round about the outside of the burn chamber. Yeah, I say, well, the burn end. But this is not, this is where your clogging happens. Look at how black and carbony that is. There's the hole where the glow plug hole would have been where the fuel comes in but there's a bit right let me just put that down and so it's a metal a metal mesh there you go that's a better better shot of it there see the mesh it's basically uh, do I have a burn chamber for wait wait I do somewhere there's a bag of them the other Wabasto series heater they use a mesh like that one, a disc, a disc mesh, and it's replaceable. That is a replaceable disc out of I'm not sure, can't remember which Wabasto is, but you can change that on the inside. Should it ever get so clogged that it stops lighting, this one obviously is not designed. Same material, but it is not designed to be removed. You're supposed to throw that whole burn chamber away. So this is where your clogging is going to get you with running the waste oil. 
because you can't you can't clean this once this is clogged it's it's clogged it's done oh, there's another bit I would also like to show you the inside of this burn chamber because it's got holes in various spots along the way I might just uh, give this a little uh, rinse and uh, brake cleaner one moment please So that is your glow plug hole there, that's your glow plug hole and that's on that side and you can see the whole glow plug hole up the top there, put that at 12 o'clock, that's your glow plug hole and then you've got this central section and that's where all your air comes in Oh, on the outside of that would be your mesh that's got the now diesel and diesel vapour wicking its way around it to get mixed with the air and then burned inside that chamber. Then you have your the rest of the burn chamber, which has the washer bit in it. That sits in there, makes a little gap, and then you push your now mix of diesel and air through there combusting, and that's you, you've got a nice combustion sequence, or not if we're using waste oil. So that is the inside of your burn chamber, the actual inside with the uh, mesh that's in the inside as well so there is a mesh as well on the inside now my plan for this is to well i'm going to completely remove this mesh like that have it as is take that washer out the middle of there weld that back on wherever it goes and then run that on waste oil and see if it will even light and how it burns and performs that is my plan so far any comments questions Anything like that, please leave them down below and I'll try my best to answer them. As always, thanks for watching.